Hi, my name's Chef Hutchings, and this is how to create an awesome acoustic MIDI guitar sound in BandLab. The first step to getting a good acoustic guitar sound is to use the right notes when strumming. The trick here is to use the notes from the G, B, and high E strings. So here are the most commonly used guitar chords. The next step is to position the notes so they mimic strumming. Most commonly, a guitarist will play the notes in a downstroke, which means that the first note played will be the lowest note. On the MIDI instrument screen, at the bottom right of the screen, tap the Step Sequencer icon. If the Snap icon at the top right of the screen is not green, tap on it so it is green, and Snap is turned on. Tap the empty squares to add the three notes for the guitar chord. Tap on the snap icon at the top right of the screen so it is no longer green and snap is turned off. Place your finger on the middle note and drag it slightly to the right. Then place your finger on the highest note and drag it slightly to the right so it is a little further right than the middle note. Now place your finger on an empty square above the three notes until a circle appears around your finger. Then drag your finger over the three notes so they all become highlighted with a white border. Next, place your finger on the white vertical line on one of the notes and drag your finger to the right to extend the length of the notes. To make the strumming sound more natural, use some upstrokes as well as downstrokes. And for an upstroke, it's the highest note that gets played first. For the upstrokes, drag the lowest note to the right instead of the highest note. Finally, when a guitarist strums a guitar, the first note is normally played louder than the second note, and the second note louder than the third note. Place your finger on the middle note until the pop-up menu appears. Then tap on the velocity icon, which looks like a speaker. At the bottom of the screen, drag the dot on the line to the left to reduce the note's velocity. Then tap on the tick icon that is to the right of the line. Now place your finger on the note that starts last until the pop-up menu appears. Tap on the velocity icon. At the bottom of the screen, drag the dot on the line to the left to reduce the note's velocity. So it is further to the left than the velocity you set for the middle note. Then tap on the tick icon. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.